You know, in 2020 and 2021, obviously mortgage rates were extremely low and inventory was also low. And what that did is that caused buyers to have to submit offers that included appraisal gap verbiage, meaning that if your offer didn't contain verbiage that said, hey, I'm willing to pay 20,000 or 30,000 in excess of the appraised value, your offer was not even in the conversation. So it made it super difficult for buyers and buyers really did have the opportunity to get it discouraged over time. You know, and I think it's so, so important that we put things in perspective. You know, the next best property is the next best property, but this too shall also pass as far as those market dynamics are concerned. And I represented a young couple that were good friends and we had literally showed them probably somewhere in the ballpark of 25 properties and had written offers on, I would say, at least 15 of those to be beaten out every single time. And our offers were fairly aggressive that did include appraisal gap verbiage. And after a period of time, they did decide to go ahead and put things on the back burner and wait. Well, about eight to 10 months ago, we did have the opportunity to get back in the market. We started looking again, got our offer accepted, and now they're happy as punch.